Well, welcome folks, I am TechNivers. Today we are going to be taking a look at how to slice a temperature tower. We are going to be using an extension that I downloaded in a previous video. If you'd like to see how to download this extension, I will put a card up in the corner right there. But it is called Calibration Parts, and it will give us this little menu that says Part for Calibration. So I'm going to go ahead and grab a PLA temperature tower, and we're going to jump into this right now. TechNivers channel is brought to you by these fine Patreon supporters. Check us out on Patreon at patreon.com slash TechNivers. Alright, so here we are. We have our temperature tower and what we need to do is slice this based on either height or the layers in order to ensure that we have the proper temperature. And we're not going to be using a change at layer height. We're going to be using a change at Z. So hang on one second. We'll pop open the extension menu here. And we're going to go to post processing, modify G code, and then add script. And we're going to hit change at Z. It does say experimental, but trust me, it works pretty well. Just give me a second here. We're going to use a layer number to change. And you can do, let's see. We're going to go ahead and hit close. You can see we now have our extension menu popped up down here, so we can open that quick change on the fly or add another one. We'll be using several of these change at Z scripts, but the first thing we need to do is slice this model. So you can change the height of the model if you want, that's perfectly fine. Uh, um, the layer height, I mean, not the height of the model. Uh, I'm using 0.2 millimeters and that'll work just fine for what we're doing. Let's go over to preview mode. And what we need to do, since we're going by the layer, is find out which layer is exactly on this point here and the way to do that is once we get close we can just scroll up and down using the arrow keys so let's take a quick nav down here and we want to change temperature right here so this is layer 39 let's go into our script here we'll change that to 39 target layer and subsequent layer and change extruder one tenth the one second here let's see what is our scale it starts at 220 215 and goes down by five so right here we need to set our initial temperature to 220 Okay, so it'll start this bottom layer off at 220 because that's where the tower starts. We need to go in here and we are going to set our temperature to 215 for the subsequent layers. And that's why we're doing target layer and subsequent. And then we will add, let's see here, one, two, three, I mean to add that one. So then we need to go here, change to layer, change to layer, and so the layer number shouldn't change. Um, because our height, the, the amount of layers should be the, the same, so it should, we should be able to just multiply off of that, but let's check that out first, let's slice. It's going to keep us on layer 38, or at least it should in preview mode. 39, excuse me. Um, so let's go up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37. Okay, so 38, 39. Mm, that's okay. We're looking at more like 37. So let's do layer 78 on the second one. And then 116, 155, 78, 116. And I already forgot the last one. So let's do change one 
content. Now we are at 210. Make sure it's set to subsequent. And then we'll do the same thing here. Change it to 110. And 205. Now, that's basically how you're going to do this. You're going to fill this out and do that all the way up. And that way it's going to change the temperature based on the temperature you want it to, to, to select here. So I will say, I don't recommend on most PLAs going all the way down to 180. I would probably cut this tower off right around the 195 spot. Any cooler than that, you risk backing it up and, and causing jams in your extruder, grinding down the filament because it's not hot enough to feed through. I mean, some filaments will go through at these lower temperatures. Um, just if you're going to use those, keep an eye on it. So that's basically it for how to make and slice your own temperature tower. There are a bunch of other tools in here. So extensions, part for calibration. You know, I definitely recommend printing these tests at least once or twice to get your printer dialed in. And I've said that already. We'll cover a couple more in some other videos. But basically, I've had a lot of questions on how to slice that temperature test, and it's kind of important to know. So um, now that we've got that out of the way, We'll see you in the next one. Well, that's it, guys. That's going to wrap up this video. If you've noticed the shirt, the merch is available. Go ahead and check out the Teespring merch link down below. It won't be available on a channel store until I reach 10,000 subscribers. And so far, I am just about to hit 5,000. So uh, it'll be a little while, a couple more months before you see this on the actual channel. But they are available now. I have a couple other designs. Feel free to pop over there and check them out. And know that any purchase through the Teespring site definitely helps to promote our site here and increase the channel's ability to make videos in the future. So we appreciate all your support. Don't forget to check out the Teespring link. Check out our Patreon link. Leave a like on this video and hit that subscribe button because we have a lot more coming at you in the coming days.